All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Squidhead Joe, and today we're going to be looking at the Soundpeats wireless earbuds from their Clear series. Um, this is supposed to be the white aesthetic, and um, they have several different color options, roughly around, uh, I would say, between $30 and $40. You can find it on Amazon, and sometimes they do have a sale where that brings these under $30. So I'm going to be telling you guys what I think about these, and on top of that, um, is it worth you spending your money or whatever for that price point on something like this? There are some pros, obviously there are some cons, but I do want to go ahead and specify that although Sound Pete's did send this out to me for review, any thoughts and opinions are of my own. And I'm just going to give you guys uh, my opinion from a person who likes over the ear headphones versus somebody who doesn't really like uh, wireless earbuds at all. I've gave them up a long time ago just because of certain reasons I'll point out in the video. And speaking of, let's jump right into the review. All right, so Sound Peaks, again, sent this out to me for review. Thank you so much. Um, these are the clear wireless earbuds, like I said previously. And for this price point, TLDR, I would say if you're looking for a wireless set of earbuds around this price point, um, go ahead and get them. I would say do not download the app. The app is useless. I will get to that in a second. Um, but if you're looking for something that's just going to sound pretty good, nothing to write home about, it's not going to blow your mind or whatever from the experience, but they're just a decent quality, decent build quality. Um, and the music sounds pretty good or whatever from them uh, type of, I would say, wires earbuds, then they're going to have you covered. And especially with having different color uh, options and everything like that and having different series. So this company, is, it's, it, they have a decent um, quality of what they have here, I would say, and they at least know what they're doing versus other companies who have cheap headphones that they just seem like they don't know what they're doing or um, they're just putting anything on the market for a quick cash grab. That does not feel like what's happening here. Um, with that being said, there are some cons and they might be deal breakers for some people. Now, I tried to do this unboxing in portion or wherever and Pretty, pretty much like record it ahead of time or whatever and use that footage and do b-rolls and stuff like that um i had an issue when i rearranged my youtube studio recently um my camera sd card one of my cameras or whatever that i was using to record my experience using them and, and little talking points or whatever for b-roll and everything like that while i was actively using them um, the sd card decided to uh corrupt um so i had to get a brand new sd card for that camera Another thing is, is that the unboxing, um, there was construction and leaf blowing and everything going on outside. And I thought I had the EQs uh, for the microphone set up wherever to block. Unfortunately, somehow they were turned off. So everything was fed into the microphone, no matter what I tried to do in editing, it just, it would not go away. So I'm just gonna have to overlay the footage with unboxing. Now, um, speaking of the unboxing experience, there's nothing really to write home here. Um, you just get the case, you get the earbuds, and then you get uh, to pretty much user manuals and quick step or start guides or whatever, and that's it. Um, you do not get a USB Type-C cable in there. You do not get extra tips or whatever for different ear shapes like large, small, medium, or different little things or whatever to add on to what's already here. Um, you don't get any of that. Now, typically, you would get that with earbuds. At least from my personal experience in the past, it's been a long time. I mostly use over the head. Uh, headphones now because again i am a hip-hop dancer i listen to a lot of uh jazzy lo-fi hi-fi um jazz i would just say jazz in general especially uh saxophones and stuff like that i listen to rock i listen to hip-hop i listen to r and I listen to dubstep i listen to a subgenre of dubstep known as um trap music i listen to drum and bass I, I listen to a whole bunch of different genres of music other than country and i would say like death metal or something like that and every single song that I listen to, especially on, even on my Spotify, play, Spotify playlist that has all those types of genres mixed in or wherever, there was not once where I was like, this doesn't sound right or this doesn't sound good or how I remember the song sounding or wherever with other headphones, um, other than maybe not having as much bass as I would like. Um, but again, coming from a dancer's perspective who dances to uh, music and knows musicality, I'm telling you that these are, are good. These are going to suffice. Um, again, it's not going to blow your mind with the sound quality or anything like that or be revolutionary, but these are good, especially at this price point. Um, so again, if you're looking for a budget headset, looking for budget wireless earbuds or whatever, 
um, these are going to cover you and uh, be a really good buy. Um, again, some of the caveats and some of the stuff that's going to be holding people back is wearing, you know, these earbuds and not having tips, uh, extra tips in. Now, I would say for my ears, their ear canals and stuff like that are very, very different. But I would confidently say that they're going to stick in your ear. Um, little to no effort putting them in and they're going to stay in. I will say that I feel like I could probably do a little bit of break dancing with these and them not falling out like handstands and everything. Um, but with that being said, there are some glaring cons when it comes to the app that you're supposed to pair this to. For one, when I looked up the app over on the Google Play Store to download it, it had a rating of 1.9, which is actually pretty bad. Um, and then on top of that, when you actually get into the app and trying to connect it or whatever, you have to sign up for an account to make an account with a password, all that stuff, verify with your email, everything like that. And then I had a firmware update for these uh, earbuds and that took a long time to actually push that firmware update. And I have fiber where I'm at, it's running through a, I would say a somewhat beefy router. And on top of that, I tried to speed up the process with the 5G network that I'm currently in. I actually really do get 5G and it's really good. Um, and it still struggled to upload. I don't know what took so long to push the firmware update. Maybe it's been sitting there for a while and it had a lot of updates to run through wherever to fully update it. I'm not sure, but just letting you know is again, being a hundred percent transparent of my uh, experience with them. Um, after I set them up to wherever and did all that, um, there was a second thing that I had to do to sit there to, before I could even really use them um, was right here in the app. They have something called adaptive EQ. Now I'm a hundred percent disabled veteran. I have a lot of medical uh, benefits. Uh, one of those benefits is getting, you know, eyeglasses done, being able to get free of charge or wherever, pretty much my eye exam whenever I want. And at least uh, once per year or wherever, nothing more frequent than that. Um, I get regular tested, my blood tested and stuff like that because my family has a lot of medical issues. Um, so eyesight, getting blood tested, hearing, all that stuff wherever I get regularly that stuff tested. And I've always been told, even back when I was in the military, that I have, you know, about average to a slightly above average hearing. Doing this test, they go through the white noise or wherever of different frequencies and stuff like that through the, all the frequency ranges. And on there, they will say that you have to click the button or wherever when you hear voices or whatever um, to let the pretty much the program know that, you know, this is the frequency that you hear and everything. Um, I did not hear anybody talking, any voices or anything that was telling me to click to let it know that I hear it. I didn't hear anything. I don't know what why that is. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there was a step that I was missing, but it's very uh, descriptive in telling you what you need to do for the test. Um, I had everything turned off in my office, wherever complete dead silence. The ambient noise was pretty much not anywhere. My son was sleeping. My wife was sleeping. Everything in the office, all the fans, the PC, a light, everything was literally turned off and unplugged because again, I was moving my office around. Absolute silence. I didn't hear anything. So moving on <laughs> to... I would say the somewhat second con, but also something that's pretty good and uh, noteworthy. Um, in the app, you have uh, two sets of presets here for the equalizer. Um, you have the equalizer presets that Soundpeats gives you um, that allows you to have all the genres of music that you see here, um, which everyone is just that pretty, I would say just basic um, EQs. It will get you by or wherever it's, again, nothing that's gonna blow your mind. Like they have really good EQ presets or wherever it's just, normal EQ presets for that genre of music or wherever again. Um, but what most people would like is the custom equalizer um, for the types of genres of music that they listen to. Unfortunately, when you set up these equalizers or wherever, you don't have multiple ones that you can save. It's just whatever one you make is right there. You hit the back button and that's it. There's no way to save a custom preset one, two, three, four. So if you listen to jazz and then you listen to lo-fi, then you listen to rock and then you listen to drum and bass or something like that. And you have different, you don't, you don't get those capabilities. I don't know why that's not there, but I think that's a must have and a must need. If they listen to anything I say in this whole entire video is this, allow users to save their own custom presets. I know you give us the capability, but there's nothing like self-tuning 
something yourself and again this is coming from somebody who is heavily into music because they are a dancer allow me to tweak the music the way i want to and have the presets set and saved and allow me to have them on the home screen to select right here just just put it right here as soon as i loaded the app i should automatically see that um but again that capability is not there and that is the biggest con for me and that is literally a deal breaker for me which is kind of sad because like i said if they never sent these out to me i never would have found the only earbuds that ever stayed in my ears no matter what i did you see how violently i shook and then stuff like that like i said i do break dancing i dance around and stuff like that i've always had to wear a beanie a bandana sweatband something wherever to keep the earbuds in my ear or just wear overhead headphones now i know over the head headphones i like them a little bit more because of the noise canceling um i would say the ceiling in my ear or wherever and blocking the ambient noise it did feel like they were snug they don't they didn't wear out my ears or wherever i wore them for about five hours rearranging my studio never had a problem wherever battery didn't run out or anything like that speaking of battery the charging case has 40 it adds 40 extra hours the earbuds themselves has around seven um, and that, like I said, around that five hour span or wherever, never had an issue, never had an issue with my beanie touching the, the touch sensitive buttons on the sides or wherever, um, never had an issue with any of that. The only time I would see that is if you're laying down or something like that, and it might brush up against and apply enough pressure to, you know, change the volume, skip song, whatever, um, depending on which side you're laying on. As far as blocking out the ambient noise, these are not noise canceling earbuds or anything like that. I could still hear, you know, so if somebody was coming and talking to me, I wouldn't have to turn my volume all the way down or pause my music or mute it or something like that. Especially if I'm listening to something that's not, I would say, uh, super busy or something like that as far as a song or music goes. Um, so I talked to my wife while wearing them or wherever. Um, today, actually, with the lo-fi going on and stuff like that, and I just had it you know, turned down. That's why the volume is as where it is. And I was able to sit there and still enjoy my low fly that was playing in the background and talk to her. Good quality earbuds. It's just, like I said, that big red flag. It might be a big red flag for a lot of people for not having the tips. So definitely test them out. And if they just don't fit, send them back return. Um, so, or just avoid them entirely. I can see somebody saying that they would just do that. Um, but again, my biggest con is not having a way to save my presets even if you just want one preset or wherever and that's what that's the only preset you want there's still no way so if for some odd reason you come in here and you change a preset and then you want to get back to that preset unless you have photographic memory or you know the type of preset that you want there's no way to undo any of the changes the only thing that you have is a reset button and a back button so even if you're saying you don't you don't need more than one EQ preset setting or wherever for customization, you still need to be able to save that at least one active EQ because you don't know what's going to happen. For whatever reason, you might lose that EQ and you have to go in there and reset everything. Not having that save option does not make any sense to me. Do I recommend this? Again, if you don't care about the app or anything that I mentioned about it or wherever, and your only only cautionary thing is not having extra tips or whatever for your earbuds then i would just say avoid it if you don't mind taking a chance because you don't really care about the app or wherever then if they do fit you're gonna find a, a golden nugget as it were you know what i'm saying one hidden gem uh on amazon that's definitely worth the price that they're asking for these i think that you're going to be very hard pressed of finding another wireless earbuds that are like this uh, with this quality and everything, um, or again, for this price point. Y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. Check out those social media links down and below. You know, follow that social media. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, leaving a like on the video. There was a lot of stuff that happened around uh, in the background or wherever that you're not aware of. It would mean a whole bunch more than you know. So if you want to talk to me about this product or any other products I have reviewed here on the channel, again, links to the live stream down below. Come check out. Come uh, hang out with me. You know, watch me play video games. Be bad at it. So we can laugh at me uh, together. With that being said, y'all take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. Deuces, everybody. Much love.